Top 15 Things to Do in Tokyo Tokyo is among the most distinctive cities in the world. There are fantastic and unique things to do all across the city, and there's always something new and exciting to discover. So where does one even start exploring? We've got you in this video, we have compiled the best things to see, do, and eat in this great city. Hello and welcome to Paradise Planet. Let's dive right into this. Number 1 on our list of things to do is go to a sumo wrestling match. Sumo wrestling is the national sport of Japan. In fact, it is one of the most anticipated activities in the nation. Seeing the sport in person is sure to be a wonderful highlight of your trip to Japan because sumo wrestlers are so well known throughout the world due to their enormous size and the extreme intensity with which they compete. The largest sumo matches in the nation, including championship fights, are held at Kokugikan Sumo Stadium. But you could also visit a number of smaller venues for a more personal experience. If you wish to watch a tournament, you will have to pay around 100 US dollars per person. For a training session with yourself and a retired wrestler, you'll pay 110 US dollars per person, which includes lunch. So, how about you give Sumo a try yourself if you're genuinely interested? Number 2 on our list zip around the streets in real life Mario Kart. There's a high probability that you've invested countless hours playing Mario Kart if you spent your childhood playing Nintendo games. Now imagine if it was real life, not just a video game. That's what you get in Tokyo. The street kart, often known as go-kart, is a ton of fun. It's thrilling to weave between automobiles and through bustling neighborhoods, even while you can toss banana peels at each other because you're driving on real streets and have to respect the loss after all. Also take note, the tickets for participating in the Mario Kart Tour in Tokyo start at 57 US dollars per person. All you need to do is choose your route, buckle in and live out your Mario Kart fantasies as you travel to Akihabara, across the Rainbow Bridge and around Tokyo Bay among other options. Sounds like fun, right? If you are enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button to enjoy more travel-related content and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So next on our list of top things to do in Tokyo, get swept away at Shibuya Crossing. Take the metro to Shibuya train station, then exit the station and proceed up the street to one of the most bizarre pedestrian crossings in the entire world. Shibuya Crossing in central Tokyo is the busiest crossing in the world and is filled with hundreds or even thousands of people whenever the lights turn red. While crossing the street at the crossing is fascinating, getting a genuine sense of the chaos requires that you go upstairs to the nearby Starbucks where you can sit by the window and watch the chaos below. It's like seeing an ant swarm covering the entire junction. This is worth doing. Number 4 on our list, hike along the Tamagawa Joshi Canal. In Tokyo, the Tama River, which is also known as Tamagawa, is a vital source of fresh water. Even though this canal isn't used as frequently as it once was, it remains one of the most well-liked places to go on a lengthy stroll. It was previously the main supply of water because most other rivers were too polluted to be drinkable and the ocean close to the city is unusable. The canal's path is now nearly entirely a green road and it runs the whole length of the canal. This canal still has water flowing through it when it is outside of central Tokyo, but this is more for aesthetic reasons than for necessity. Even though the canal's surface water begins to vanish in the Setagaya Ward, the park's path still leads you directly to Shinjuku. This is one of the freshest and most attractive parts of the city, with trees along the walkway on both sides. Number 5 on our list, Visit the Lucky Cats at Gotokuji Temple it's one of the most unusual spots to visit in Tokyo since it's packed with numerous stages of the well-known Pekoning Cats which depict a cat sitting up and raising a paw in the air. These cats, known as Maneki Neko, are said to bring good fortune. 
Although they can have either paw up, Goto Fuji only pays attention to those that have the right paw raised. There's an entire legend behind the temple too, and it's about a lord who escaped a rainstorm by a cat that beckoned him to enter the temple. Fascinating, right? This is a place you might consider enticing because the temple is very calm and sells figurines and charms. Moving on, number 6 on our list, spend the day at Team Lab Borderless. Team Lab Borderless is a must-see if you're looking for another futuristic Tokyo tourist destination. The first interactive digital art museum in the world, Team Lab Borderless is a musical, light, and laser-filled space. Its team of artists and engineers from all over the world are working at the Ayumi train station in Adaiba to develop a brand new type of human-computer interaction. The long-term goal of Team Lab Borderless is to develop a setting that encourages communication between people and technology as well as between visitors. Contrary to traditional museums, Borderless arranges its artwork throughout a space without walls so that visitors can explore the entire area as a work of art. While you are here, you can participate in interactive digital art, play creatively with AI installations, and take in dynamic musical performances. Also, take note, you will have to pay 30 US dollars to enter Team Lab Borderless to explore the amazing work of art. Number 7 on the list, observe the cherry blossom in Yoyogi Koen. In the spring, thousands of cherry trees throughout the city will open with white and pink petals, kicking off the cherry blossom viewing season. When the cherry blossoms are in bloom, tokoyates congregate in large numbers in parks and along river banks for sale fueled viewing parties as the pink and white flowers cover the landscape. Some of the most lively and extravagant celebrations take place in grassy Yoyogi Ken, which is one of the city's biggest parks, and feature barbecues, sake, drinking, and DJ turntables. You can linger here for after sunset to enjoy the show of lit up blooms at night. Number 8 on our list, discover the secrets of Shinto at Meiji Shrine. The biggest and most well-known Shinto temple in Tokyo feels a long way from the hustle and bustle of the modern metropolis. Its grounds are large and covered in a thick layer of green, enclosing a number of wooden shrine buildings and planted gardens, and it is accessible by a lengthy, winding woodland walk marked by towering entrance gates. Meiji Shrine is a place of worship and a memorial to Emperor Meiji, as well as a location for traditional festivals and rites where weddings take place and milestones are celebrated which is something you might see if you time your visit well. Number 9 on our list is for you to trip out at the Robot Restaurant. Visit the Robot Restaurant, one of the coolest things to do in Tokyo. No vacation is complete without a night out at Robot Restaurant. Despite the fact that most visitors to this region may focus on temples, museums, and cherry blossom season while making their travel plans. The robot restaurant show in Shinjuku can be best described as taking LSD in a real-life sci-fi movie. Without giving too much away, the sensory overload performance here includes a ton of other things than giant robotic dinosaurs and samurai warriors. This is a place that should be included in your bucket list. Number 10 on our list is eat all the Japanese food. The foodies will love this. Without a doubt, Japanese food is among the best in the world. The variety in the country is overwhelming and the flavors of sushi, ramen, and udon are to live for. Although each region of Japan has its own unique snacks, meals, and drinks, in Tokyo you can find them all in street food stands marketplace, and top-notch restaurants. You can also sign up for a Japanese cooking class to master the basic techniques of Japan's most famous food during a 3-hour sushi-making class in Tokyo. This will cost you about 72 US dollars, which is worth doing. Moving on, number 11, find your calm in Rikugi and Gardens. 
From the 10th to the 19th centuries, feudal lords dominated most of Japan. Yet in Tokyo, a metropolis plagued by raging fires, earth-shattering earthquakes, bombing raids, and poor maintenance of ancient architecture, there aren't many apparent signs of their influence. However, the old Tokyo still has a potent magic when you can find it. The Rikugien Garden in Bunkyo Ward was created by Yanagisawa Yoshiyasu, the lord of the Kawago Estate around the turn of the 17th century. It is a pastoral green space amidst the turgid hustle of metropolitan Tokyo. Shifting fall foliage and a magnificent weeping cherry tree in spring are joined by mossy walks, spiritual stonework which is influenced by waka poetry, mirror-like puns, and cobblestone bridges. This is a perfect way to take a short trip through time. Number 12 on our list, visit to the majestic Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace is one of the most well-liked and well-known Tokyo attractions and it is situated where the previous innermost point of defense at Edo Castle once stood. It was formerly a large complex of structures but most of them were destroyed after centuries of battle and were never rebuilt. Today, the majority of the palace grounds are accessible to the general public and there are a number of guided tours available in both English and Japanese that will explain the significance of the place to you. Although the inner guards are off-limits to the public, the East Garden is available all year long and is essentially a standalone attraction. And of course, number 13 on our list, make a pilgrimage to Mount Takao. Even though Mount Takao isn't the highest peak close to Tokyo, it is unquestionably one of the holiest places in the city. It's a great place to visit when you're unsure of what to do in Tokyo and you want to go in search of old Japan. Over 1,200 years have passed since it first became a popular pilgrimage destination and now, despite the large number of visitors who climb its slopes, you can still observe an ascetic Buddhist climbing the mountain to offer an offering. There are many historic structures to see that have been properly conserved and not just that. Mount Takao provides stunning views of Mount Fuji in Tokyo. And if you don't feel like climbing the mountain on foot, there is a cable car you can rent for approximately 12 US dollars that goes straight to the summit so that you can enjoy the views unhindered. Number 14 on our list is get a photo of the giant Godzilla head. Thankfully, Godzilla is no longer wreaking havoc on Tokyo streets, but you can still catch a glimpse of him through the 8th story of the Hotel Gracery in the Toho building. The Godzilla head, which is well-like attraction in Shinjuku, is a 39-foot tall reptile head with piercing eyes and pointed teeth. Fascinating, yeah? Well, you can view him from the busy street 130 feet below or take the elevator up to get a closer pic. A new Godzilla viewing room will soon be available so keep an eye out. And finally, number 15 on our list is see from atop the Tokyo Tower. Japan suffered significant casualties during the Second World War and was typically regarded as a nation in ruins. After the war, there were several years of quick restoration and revival, which were commemorated by the building of the Tokyo Tower in 1958. The tower resembles the Eiffel Tower in design and shape, although it is 13 meters taller at 333 meters than the Eiffel. It has two observation decks, one at 150 meters and another at 250 meters. On a clear day, the Tokyo Sky Tree, Mount Fuji, and the Zojoji Temple can all be seen from the peak of the Tokyo skyline. If you love panoramic views from tall heights, then a visit to Tokyo Tower should be on your bucket list. What are your thoughts about the top 15 things to do in Tokyo? Share with us in the comment section. Thanks for sticking till the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to enjoy more travel-related contents and be sure to turn on your post notification to be the first to know when we drop new videos. Bye!